The next few days are going to be extremely important, not only for the crypto market, but for the global economy. And we're going to look at all of these important dates and of course the charts, because ultimately, like I told you, this is an extremely important week, but also extremely bullish. We have the FOMC meeting and also a full moon. And if we're going to look at the previous full moons, this was always a bullish breakout. Yes, this was the only time we saw that the price movement dumped at a full moon. But guys, overall, this is a major manipulation. But we can see that each and every time, yes, we're getting this bullish impulse from the full moon. So are we going to see this major pump towards the upside? Because what it's going to be for certain is that we're going to see a major volatile move towards the upside and also towards the downside to shake out a lot of weak hands because ultimately this is going to be a make and break situation. Yes, are we finally going to get the rate cuts from the Federal Reserve or are they going to manipulate all of the economy and that they're not going to cut any rates and that we could expect the major dump towards the downside? Yes, we're going to look at all of this data and also the charts to find out what we could expect in the immediate short term and we're also going to look at the history of Bitcoin. How did Bitcoin perform during these rate cuts? So if you want to find out more and most importantly if you want to profit from this major volatile move because I have an exclusive offer for you. If you're going to sign up to Blowfin using my links in the video description below you can open any trade and if you're going to lose this trade we have you covered because you're going to get a refund of 100 US dollars if you open a trade using my exclusive links. So yes, this is actually a trade for absolutely free and you can use this major volatile move. And remember, Blowfin is a non-KYC exchange, so you don't need any KYC to sign up and it only takes 30 seconds. So the links are in the video description below. So let's go over to the first news. Breaking only 1 million Bitcoin combined remaining on exchanges globally. Supply shock coming. Yes, this is extremely bullish because this means that a lot of people are withdrawing their Bitcoin from the exchanges and this causes a supply shock for all these major institutions or corporations that want to buy huge amounts of Bitcoin. So ultimately this supply shock is going to drive the price of Bitcoin even higher and not only the price of Bitcoin because remember if Bitcoin goes up 10% all of these altcoins are going to see a major push towards the upside and yes we could expect a major altcoin season and I do believe we're on the brink of a major parabolic run towards the upside and we're going to find out why but let's go over to the next news. Yes this week in crypto and we're not going to talk about all of these highlights but if you want to find out more go over to X where you can find this post because yes on Monday we're seeing a 57 million token unlock on Arbitrum but the most important factors are going to be World Liberty Finance a decentralized platform of Donald Trump is going to be launched. And yes, I do believe that Donald Trump is going to get a lot of headwinds from the SEC just before the elections by launching a crypto project. But guys, the most important factor is going to be the FOMC meeting, which is going to take place on Wednesday. So this is going to be extremely important. Are we finally going to get this rate cuts and the rate decision? Because at the moment the expectations lie around about a 25 basis point cut or are we going to get this manipulation? But we're going to find out even more about the rate cuts and how did Bitcoin perform in the previous years. What is really going to be important is the tone of Fat Jerome Paul at the FOMC meeting at the press conference. But on a bullish note we can see the launch of the token 2049 in Singapore which is going to pump a lot of projects in the altcoin sector. So yes, I do believe we're going to get this bullish impulse, but we're going to look at the price point. But first of all, guys, yes, Solana breakpoint is on Friday. So this could push the price of Solana all the way up to the previous highs. But now we're going to focus on the rate cuts. Bitcoin versus gold, what history shows us. 2019 Bitcoin saw its first rate cut cycle and recession. So exactly here, this was just before the COVID crash where we could see that the price of Bitcoin went sideways. And on the other hand, in the same time period, we saw that gold had this major push towards the upside. Yes, gold pumped to a new all-time high. During that time, Bitcoin went sideways. The 2020 rate cuts are over, exiting a recession. And we saw that Bitcoin rallied over 12 months to its new all-time high with a cycle top all the way up here. This was the previous all-time high, but gold found its top 
and began trading sideways within the same time period. So yes, gold was a leading indicator, gold had this major push towards upside and Bitcoin went sideways, but yes, we saw that gold topped out and went sideways and at this time we saw this major push towards upside leading to a new all time high for Bitcoin. But in the year 2024, we see that Bitcoin went sideways for over 200 days exactly here and in the same time period we saw that gold pumped to a new all time high exactly here. So yes, is history going to repeat and the rate cuts next week? Will this time be different? And we're going to see the same scenario because ultimately guys, this was was in the year 2020 and this was in the same time period we had this major COVID crash exactly here. Maybe this time we're going to see that Bitcoin is going to see a major push and that the rate cuts are going to be the beginning of this major parabolic run towards the upside because yes if we're going to look at the Bitcoin index the performance since the cycle low exactly here for the bottom we can see that this black line is the price movement of Bitcoin and in the previous cycles this was usually exactly the time after round about 650 days after the cycle bottom that we saw this major parabolic run towards the upside. So yes guys, we have looked at these charts before and this is going to be the beginning of a major parabolic run. Because yes, we are entering this major parabolic run and this is your last opportunity. Like I said before, this is the second best entry that you're going to get before this major parabolic run towards the upside. And yes, we have looked at this chart before and yes, this is in total confluence from all the halvenings because after the halvening we started with this parabolic run towards the upside exactly 153 days after the Bitcoin halvening and in the third halvening once again halvening sideways move and perfectly after 153 days we saw this parabolic run towards the upside and we are exactly within this month where we could expect this major breakout and this major parabolic move towards the upside all the way to a new cycle top that we could expect round about in October. So yes, we're going to take profits beforehand. But yes, now's the time to enter the crypto market and make use of this major volatility. Because yes, maybe your portfolio is down if you invested at the top, but the most important factor is going to be hold on because you're not going to time the market it is about time in the market and you're going to see a major push towards the upside the only thing you can do is either dollar cost average or just sit on your hands and wait for this major breakout because yes maybe you are down 70 percent but the next move for all of the altcoins is going to be 50 100 or even up to 500 percent within the next few months so just hold on because in previous cycles when the price retested the 50 week simple moving average it bounced at least 40% towards upside and we are once again testing the zone because in the previous bull market we saw once again we tested this 50 moving average we saw this major pump towards upside and also this major COVID crash we saw that Bitcoin had this 40% towards upside 49% and in the previous bull market this was actually 117% so if we're going to get the 71% pump this will bring us all the way to the 100,000 US dollar level and the altcoins are absolutely going to fly. So once again this is a major indication that we could expect this major pump towards the upside because yes if we're going to look at the historical monthly returns yes we had this bearish August and also September but if we're going to look at the previous Bitcoin halvenings which were in the year 2020 we saw that October, November and December were extremely bullish and in the halvening beforehand in the year 2016 we had a 14, 5% and 30% in this bullish month. So yes, we could expect that the next three months are going to be extremely bullish. And yes, once again, this is a major indication that we could expect this bullish breakout on the full moon and also after the rate decision, bringing us all the way up to the 70,000 US dollars. Because we can see, yes, at the moment we're in this bearish trend. Bitcoin is forming lower highs. But as soon as we're going to break out from this range, I told you before, this 13 moving average on the weekly chart, if we're going to see this major break above, this is going to be a fast move and this is going to catch a lot of people off guard. So don't be catched off guard. If you want to profit from all of these moves, guys, make sure to be in my free Telegram group where I always keep you up to date. But let's go on the even lower time frames and we're going to start on the daily chart. 
and we perfectly reached my price target of the 61.8 being the 60,000 US dollar level and also the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement level exactly in major confluence at this major zone. And yes, this is a make and break situation because we have seen that in the previous price movement of Bitcoin, this was a major resistance level and this is also a psychological level, the 60,000 US dollars. But as soon as we're going to break out from this major downward sloping trend, we're going to see that Bitcoin is going to be a fast move all the way to the 88.6, perfectly lining up with the 200 moving average on the daily chart and also the 65,000 US dollars. This is going to be the indication if we're going to break above the 65,000 US dollars, this is going to be our bullish indication that the overall trend has turned around because after this low, Bitcoin would have formed a higher high in comparison to the previous one. And this gives us the indication that the overall trend has turned around and that we could expect this breakout all the way at least to the 70,000 US dollars. But ultimately, guys, our major price target, if we're going to break out from this major consolidation and manipulation phase, is clearly going to be the 80,000 US dollars because this is going to be an extremely fast move. And yes, I'm going to say it once again, it is not about timing the market, it is about time in the market. And if you don't have the conviction to buy the lows, you're going to buy all the way up here. And maybe this is going to be the next major consolidation zone. So Guys, don't make this mistake. Go down in the video description below and buy crypto exactly now. But if you want to trade all of these moves with the leverage on the exchange with no KYC and you also have a trade for absolutely free, go down in the video description below and sign up to Blowfin where you receive this major exclusive offer. And yes, let's go over to Zulana because on the daily chart for Zulana, we have looked at the FOMC meeting, the full moon and also Zulana breakpoint exactly within this week. So this could be extremely bullish for Zulana and I do expect that Zulana is going to come at least all the way back up to this downward sloping trend of round about $180. As soon as we're going to break the 13 moving average on the daily chart once again, that we're going to get this pump all the way to these important moving averages exactly here, round about the $150 level. But yes, we could definitely expect some major volatile moves, maybe even a bullish move towards FOMC meeting, some major price swings all the way up to liquidate all the shorts and to liquidate all the longs. But ultimately, guys, if we're going to get this right decision and finally this right cut, I do believe this is going to be the beginning of this next major parabolic run towards the upside. And yes, in the immediate short term, I do believe that Bitcoin is going to get this bullish move towards the FOMC meeting, which is exactly here. And if we're going to see a major swing towards the upside and towards the downside during the FOMC meeting, but overall, I do expect that we're going to break the 60,000 US dollars within this week and that we're going to find support above this major level of 65,000 US dollars, which is going to be the make and break situation for Bitcoin. And finally, guys, this is going to be the beginning of the biggest Bitcoin cycle crypto cycle, the next major parabolic move towards upside. But if you want to stay up to date, make sure to be subscribed to my YouTube channel, join my free Telegram group. But most importantly, guys, I'm going to upload a dedicated video how you can trade on Blowfin to receive this major deposit bonus and also to get a refund of 100 US dollars on your losses because this is going to be the beginning of this next parabolic run towards the upside and this is going to catch a lot of people off guard. So yes, make sure to be for crypto and we see each other in the next video.